Donda's rules suit shoes. McClendonReport.com. Joining us in Studio C, taking out time from her extremely busy schedule, is the multi-talented Bernadette Stannis, also known as Thelma from Good Times. Bernadette, welcome to Gerard McClendon Live. Oh, thank you for having me, Gerard. Girl, you are so busy. What is going on in the life of Bernadette Stannis right now? <laughs> Well, right now, I'm doing a lot of touring. I'm touring for the summer because, you know, I have this book out, Situations yes. 101, Relationships, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. <laughs> That's off the hook. You know what? And we're going to talk about that book a little bit later because you've got some critical situations in that book as it pertains to relationships. And so we want to get into that shortly. First things first, though, you've been busy. We've been checking you out on Parenthood. You've been on the Wayans Brothers, the Cosby Show appearances as well as girlfriends, you know, how does someone balance their time and still create, create, and create? Now, that's, that's a challenge. You have to always have a pad and a pen there, or your computer, or a little mic, you know, a little tape, and you tape things that come to you so that when you do have the time, you can just write it out. Bernadette, what drives you? You know, uh, there's a lot of people out there that say, I want to be an actress, I want to be a songwriter, I want to be a writer, and then 10 years later, they're still saying, I want to, I want to. How do we get from I want to to I'm doing? Because you just have to get up and do it. You know, you have to get break through fear and just do it and, and have faith and trust in your talent. Because if you don't, you know, you'll never really do it. Yeah, Bernadette, let's go way back. Now, good times. <laughs> One of my favorite shows. You guys were breaking some serious ground on that show. But let's go back even before Good Times. How did you land that role? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was in a beauty pageant, and um, there was a manager who came up to my mom and said, you know, they're looking for a daughter for this TV show, and uh, I think that this young lady would fit the part. So it was many, many, you know, auditions, and there were many women that tried for the part, young girls, and um, fortunately, they chose yeah. me. Yeah, and, and you know what, the cast... My brother and I, we talk about this all the time. The cast was amazing. I mean, when you look at the likes of Esther Rowe, God bless her soul, you look at John Amos, Ralph Carter, you know, uh, uh, my, my man Jimmy Walker, the cast was phenomenal. And I, I want to commend your work on that show as well as the work that you've done beyond that. I was watching an interview with you and crazy WGCI jockey Tony Schofield. And, <laughs> And girl, you guys were unplugged in that I'm studio. I'm telling you, Tony's um, amazing. He makes you feel so comfortable, and I just had a lot of fun with him. Yes, it was off the hook. You know what, Bernadette, stay right with us. I want to ask you some questions pertaining to your book after the break. Call me at 630-575-TALK, and you, and you can speak with Bernadette Stannis. You can ask her some questions. Situations 101 is her book, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, Gerard McClendon Live. You know, when I was a mere youth in high school, French was one of my big subjects. JJ, you took Spanish. You don't know any French, so why don't you get out of here? What are you talking about, girl? Remember the time the family went to that fancy restaurant? I ordered the entire meal in French. Yeah, but it was a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you know what I'm talking about. It's about Bernadette Stannis at, on Gerard McClendon Live. You can see, be still my heart. I'm telling you, man, you talk about a mad crush. Let me tell you something quickly, Bernadette, before we go to phone calls. I, I was the first young man in school who could spell your name correctly. Okay. And check this out. and Man, my wife's going to kill me tonight. <laughs> I was like, she got that beauty mark over her right eye. Uh, anyway, let's keep there. moving forward. You know what, Bernadette? I'm looking at your book here. It's an amazing book. Situations 101, and I'm checking these chapter titles out. But first of all, what do you mean by this? He will call me right back, but that was yesterday. Talk to me, girl. <laughs> Well, you know how you'll call someone, and you know, a guy, and he's busy, and he'll say, yeah, right, I'll call you right back. You know, and you <laughs> literally sit there waiting for that call back. And then the night goes, maybe the, the next morning, that afternoon, then he'll call back. Yeah. So you know, something is kind of like not right. The respect yeah. is not there or something. And so I talk about that. I have a response to that. 
Yeah, and that's the vibe I'm getting from the book. You know, you can't always trust what people say. You can only trust what they do. Absolutely. You know, and I'm looking at another chapter here. It says, my husband never calls me from the office. Very oh, good one, that oh, one. Oh, what's that about? <laughs> well, he never calls from the office because to come to find out that he's had like five or six secretaries in rotation, okay? And, yeah, <laughs> and he's been dating all of them. I mean, it's like amazing. He has no time to call his wife. Yeah, wow. wow. I mean, imagine that. A wife who is discouraged from calling the office. Bernadette, I'm going to the phones. DJ, you're on Gerard McClendon Live. You got Bernadette Stannis in the mix. What's your question or comment? Got a comment. Yes. I just want to make a quick statement. How you doing, Bernadette? Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. July 6th this year, you was at the African Fest. That was my birthday. And uh, my friend, he took a picture with you. Your daughter was there, and a few of your crew members was with you there. I just wanted to say, personally, you are a beautiful black sister. I watched Good Times when I was, ah, when Good Times was on. Well, I thank you for that. How uh, many years? You got a gorgeous smile. You're beautiful in person. Now, he see you for, via satellite. I see you in person. Uh, he I love to it. See you. He needs to see you in person. Yes, you sir. You are gorgeous. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, Thank DJ. Thank you. Thank you for that call. We appreciate that, Bernadette. It looks like the fans are blowing up the phone lines. I'm going to Tony. Tony, talk to me. Gerard McClendon Live, what's up? Yeah, how you doing? This is uh, Tony. Excellent. Hi, Tony. How you doing, Bernadette? I'm doing fine. How are you? I grew up watching that show for good times. And I like... And I like your performance in it. I really did. Thank you. I'm from that area over there. I went to Cooley High School. Wow. I, grew up, I went to Cooley High School. I live right over at 1015 North Larrabee, right in that area. That's why I was so glad to, you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We were in the Red Building. I, I learned that yesterday. We were in the Red Building. Wow. I live right, I live right in the Red Building, too. I, and I also went to Jenner. Of course, Jenner School, they redid it over. Wow. I went to Jenner. Wow. Yes, sir. Tony, Tony, thanks for the call. Appreciate that. Thank you, Tony. Bernadette, it's not only fans calling the show, girl. They got the history, too. I yes. mean, this, this is serious. Let me go to James. James, thank you for calling Gerard McClendon Live. You're online with Bernadette Stannis. How you doing, Miss Bernadette? Well, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Listen, I, I realize that you have a book called The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. Yes. But in your career, what was the ugliest moment mm. that you faced in your career? In my career. Thank you, James. Uh, auditioning for something that I really wanted and did, did not get. Mm. Mm. What do you do, Bernadette, when that happens? I mean, you just move, you just flow, right? You have to flow, but it's yeah. not that easy. You know, you have to talk yourself into it like a day or two, like, well, maybe I just wasn't what they were looking for. I tried my best. You go over your audition. You do that. Yeah. You yeah. do that. Yeah. Bernadette, stay with us, please. We appreciate you. Hey, we got Bernadette Stannis in the house on Gerard McClendon Live. Good time, good time, good Check out Bernadette's website. This one is easy. Thelma of GoodTimes.com. You'll find information on her books as well as contact information. You can also send her an email. She loves hearing from her fans. Welcome back to Gerard McClendon Live. Hey, we got the big guest tonight, Bernadette Stannis, Thelma of Good Times. Bernadette, thanks for giving us all this time tonight. Oh, we appreciate thank it. thank you. I hey, appreciate being here. Hey, Bernadette, yes. you know, you know, it's funny. You've got this book out now, and everyone's mm -hmm. thinking that this is your first attempt at writing. You've been writing all your life, though. Yes, I have. I really have. Yeah. And I've been writing a lot of poetry uh, along with little short stories and, you know, things like that. I'm going back to the phones. I think this might be the last phone call of the day. Caller, talk to me. You're on live with Bernadette Stannis. Debbie. Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Are you there? I guess she's Marcia. <laughs> Marcia, thank you for calling Gerard McClendon Live. Question or comment? Yes, thank you. Hello, Marcia. Yes, Bernadette. Yes. Uh, I just had to call my daughter because during the time Good Times was on the air, the parent was the actual parental control. We did it physically. We sat there with our children, mm. and I knew she would want to see you and be able to introduce her daughters to you mm. because every time you changed your hairstyle, <laughs> so did she. Oh, my and God. And you were such a uh, dramatic and effective role model for 
our young people wow. then at that time. Thank you. With your language and your attitudes that we wanted them to have. Thank oh, you so wonderful. much. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, you know, Bernadette, we've seen you exercise poise. You've been such a lady on television and in person. Thank you. You know, we, we thank you for all of your accomplishments. Give me a final word for today, Bernadette. Oh, I'm just so grateful to, you know, have an audience even 30 years later. You know, I still have fans. I have little kids that are fans, and I thank God for that. And I thank you for that, too. Yes, yes. That's Bernadette Stannis, Thelma of Good Times. We're going to stay with you a little bit longer here. Bernadette, let me just ask you this quickly. Uh, someone asked me this earlier to say you've got to ask her, and if you could just sum this up, where is Ralph Carter? Oh, Ralph Carter is in Brooklyn. He's going to be touring with me very soon, and he's bringing out a song. You know the You and I song yeah, that he yeah. sung? Okay, he's making a big song out of that. Okay. So you're going to be able to buy that very soon. Man, Ralph Carter, that was Michael on Good Times. Yes. Hey, Bernadette, thank you for uh, joining us on Gerard McClendon Live. We appreciate you coming out. Thank you for watching Gerard McClendon Live. Special thanks to Bernadette Stannis, my guest. Go to our blog, check our shows out at cltv.com. Axe or ask? Donda's rules suit shoes.